All right, Dragon Air Silent Gods, what's going on, everyone? We are live streaming. We're going to be doing our daily stuff, plus some 3v3. Uh oh. Plus some 3v3. <laughs> Let's knock this out. Some 3v3 arena. See where we're at with everything. We'll start off with our... Let's go over here and do our Vortex boss while we gather some people onto our stream. If you're not playing Dragon Air Silent Gods, download it with a link down below. Jump on the game on Steam. You can download it there for your PC. You can play on your mobile devices and jump back and forth between all of those. And we've got a new big event coming very, very soon. Actually, in three days, we've got a big event. And if you haven't played, now is the time to play. Because you'll, you'll be able to get legendary heroes out of purple dice. Everybody will be able to. Plus, you'll get 100 free dice just for playing during that time. So start right now. Let's see what we've got. Everybody with Rook teams right here. 400 million. 354 million. 300 million. Man. The Rook teams are taking over. Nothing you can do about that. Just too strong. I don't know if they should like nerf Rook a little bit or not. I wouldn't I don't think it would be a bad thing if they did. Just a little. Well, this guy got ripe kiss from the horn. Nice. Now was there any changes I need to make? I don't think so. I tried to do a lot of different stuff and nothing worked. All right. So 60 million is what we got yesterday, I believe. Should be somewhere around there. I don't think there's much of an increase. It would be fun to make a Dauntless team and try it out. But I don't know. It's only for a week, right? It's for like one week. This team, you know, do I, do I think my Dauntless team is going to make do more damage than this? I just, I'd have to go change around all that gear and try it out. I don't think it would, to be honest. I feel like Vortex is kind of one of those things where if you have a team for it, you just kind of stick with that team. You don't go around and, and make different teams. Yo, Chitty P, what's up, my man? Always in here first. Chitty, do you ever make different Vortex teams? This week, obviously, it's really good for Dauntless, but if I made a Dauntless team, I don't really have the support. I don't have the best support for Lightning. It's Lightning Frost, right? And if I put in two Light... Like, if I put in Shaltar along with Sutha... On this team, there's no way they're going to out-damage my exclusive girl here. Plus, with a five-team bonus, there's no way they're going to out-damage that. It's kind of hard to play with different teams. You try for the weak buff? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. OP Gamer in the house, too. What's going on? For the weekly buff, right? I mean, I think that's what the weekly buff is for. So that you can try out different teams on the Vortex boss to try to compete. But you would have to have an insane roster. And even then, if you had the best of the best or or around like the best of the best team that weekly bonus isn't strong enough to make it worth going to play another team unfortunately yeah your ice blast is there if you have bell dell man you got it made right if you got an exclusive you're still doing really good i mean ice blast is an incredible team regardless and if you have bell dell uh it's just gonna be really good to stay up in top numbers for the vortex for sure Right. Any kind of exclusive. You, you either have Rook or another exclusive and that's it. If you don't have an exclusive, you don't have Rook. I don't know what you're doing. I guess you're just playing an Ice Blast team. Yeah, yeah like you said. Just playing like a standard Ice Blast team. Girthin and whoever else you can pick up to put in there. I don't know what else you would play, to be honest with you. An, an Ice Blast team would outperform... A total Nan Erich Wild team, but I guess it depends. It really depends on the support. It's all about the support you have to be able to last longer. That's the biggest thing. And right now, anything ever matched with Radiant really has it made. Even if you're just doing Garius with a staff along with Ardrith, that there together, that combination of, of Garius with a staff and Ardrith, and then whatever else you might have, can kind of get you pretty far. Yo, OP Gamer, I'm doing great, man. It's Saturday. My kids are home. They're playing with a friend. My daughter has one of her friends over. Coach Chun is her name. I don't know what her full name is. That's like a nickname where you shorten the name. And then uh, my my son has Kinta is coming over, and they're going to watch some anime and play some games. I think he's here right now, actually. 
And then my wife gets off around 1.30 today or 1 o'clock. It's a half day for her today, which is pretty cool. And then we're off. She's off Monday. She's off Sunday tomorrow and then Monday. And Monday, I think, is Monday the day we're going to go... I think Monday we're going to go watch Godzilla King Kong, me and my son, and then we're all going to go to the mall together. But my wife and my daughter are going to go shopping. But my son and I are going to watch uh, King Kong, Godzilla x King Kong. Because it just came out a few days ago here in Japan. So that'll be fun. And it's supposed to get nice, I think, on Sunday. Tomorrow's supposed to be like a really nice day. And then a week from now, we're going to go to this big amusement. It's not an amusement park. It's an outdoor park. It's kind of like a botanical garden with a big, huge area for kids to play in with a whole bunch of water shooting out of the ground in places with like a pool, but the pool is not very deep, right? It's only, it's only like a two feet deep pool, but water shooting out everywhere for fun times. And then they have an obstacle course, like a, a gigantic obstacle course that runs like the whole outer perimeter of the park, which is pretty fun to do whole bunch of ropes to climb up and swing on and logs to cross over all sorts of wild stuff so that'll be fun I'm looking forward to going outside and doing some cool stuff especially when it's nice out I think ice blast is obviously the strongest right if you take all the teams that well I don't know Shaltar is pretty strong too if you take all it'd be interesting it'd be inter interesting if you have the same like if we just use the unkillable team who does more damage? Shaltar and Nimbus or Vanny together? Or would Total Nan with Erich and some other people like uh, Netta do better? Which team would do the best? I think they're pretty comparable. I wonder if we ever did those. Because we did do a Vortex tier list of people doing damage on the Vortex boss from the test server. Let me see what we have here. But I don't think we did anything like Shaltar teams. I don't think we did those yet. We should do that. We should, keep, we should keep working on that list. We should work on some tier list. Since we have the test server, we have some gear made up. We should work on some tier list stuff. Definitely some free-to-play. I was working on some free-to-play ancient battlefield teams last night, and I was doing really well. I was using the main character, since we can get so much attack now, using the main character. The main character was putting up like 20, 21,000 HP shields for the team. And that was keeping us alive versus Ancient Battlefield. It was the only free-to-play option I could think of that would go with Ice and Poison. And it's great, because we can get our attack up really high. Especially if you have Roots, but even if you don't have Roots, if you use the Slingshot on him. And I know he doesn't use Accuracy, but if you use the Slingshot on him and get his attack even higher, we get 21,000 Shields, which is nice. If you just have Roots, you can get 21,000 Shields with just Roots, because Roots is so strong. Gives you 60% attack plus another 30% attack. You know, if you're an epic or a rare, if you're a non-legendary. So now the main MC can actually do some crazy shields, HP shields. Of course, he's a little fragile because we're going all attack. But with the ancestral gear, no, aerial gear, we get more attack there. With the gloves, whenever you have skill haste, you get more attack on those. Plus, you do attack percentage, attack percentage. Great artifacts now with the slingshot, with the roots. It's pretty easy, actually, to make it where he's strong to scale him to be so strong, which is nice. Let's see, where's my, where's my link? Tier list, here we go. Let's see. We haven't worked on this in a while. Vortex tier list. So we did. We did. Right. Unkillable team for everything. We did Rook along with a whole bunch of different corrosions. <laughs> Lots of corrosion. We did do a lot of Ice Blast. So we can see where the Ice Blast lands. Now all we got to do is a Dauntless team. And then we got to do some more wild teams. Ice Blast. We have all the Shadow teams. Shadow Spawn Ozul. Oh, this is Shadow Spawn Artifact. Okay. Here's the wild teams. Erich, Total Nan, Netta. So we did do those. They don't even compare to Erich, Total Nan, and Felicity. 
and Netta don't even compare to Ice Blast. Not even close. I mean, it's it's all right. It's not too far away, but we're talking like 10 million right here for 37 million. 24 million, 27 million with these wild teams. Total Nan, uh, Diantha, and Amon. That's kind of what I'm using, right? Well, I'm using Diantha and Amon, and I took out Total Nan because now I'm just doing Witch's Remains with Ardrith. Hmm. <laughs> We need to test Felicity. Felicity teams, we need to go... We did Beldel though, right? I'm pretty sure I threw Beldel in some of this team, didn't I? Yeah, Beldel right there. 45 million. So a different Dauntless teams we didn't test out. I guess that's really it. Who else besides Dauntless and Felicity do I even need to test? I think those are the only ones. Witches Remains, Roots, Eyeball. Set gear one, two, three. We still have those saved on the test server with the Carnage Gloves. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know what else to test out. We could just test out single target damage, like who does the most damage currently this season on Heroes. But that would just be for going through... That wouldn't really do us any good. That'd just be going, going through dungeons, like speed farming dungeons. We don't need to worry about that. 150 stacks. It's all about to fall apart. Ooh, somebody almost died. That was close. Okay, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. If we stay alive through this right here and get shields up, I think we're good. Whack. Whack. Oh, we lost. Damn, we lost a lot with that hit. Did we have decreased attack up? I don't think we did for some weird reason. We should have been able to go one more round. 60 million something. Oh, well, we'll take our 58. Take our 59 million and roll with it. Okay, what are we going to do? Some PvP? I've actually been having some fun with 3v3 Arena. And we're up pretty high, so the guys, like, the teams are really hard. Well, let's see what we've got over here for Bay Meander. Can I not? Can, can it just? Why can't it just take me here? Let's see what kind of rewards we've got in Faye today. Level up some artifacts, maybe? 1,000 solvent, which isn't a lot. We do have a legendary scroll. That's great. At 110. 110? What are we going to have to fight? That might be something interesting. Oh, we got 75 right here, too, for essence. Okay, and today for the trials. Okay, we got some more essence. Not bad. Let's knock these bad boys out. These will be fast at 10 times speed. Shouldn't have any issues there. Let me know if you guys got, since I've got some time off, well, my wife's got time off in the next uh, week, starting um, tomorrow. Let me know Let me know if there's any good movies out there. I saw the Fall Guy's going to come out, the new Fall Guy movie with Ryan Gosling and Emily, Emma, Emily Blunt? Yeah, I think that's her name. Is going to be out in the next couple days. No, next week, I guess. The third. Looks like a good comedy. Just don't know if there's much else much else out there. It'd be cool if there's a good TV series for my wife and I to watch when she has some time off. I'm sure this team is going to rip up any of these. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be hard yet. Although, aren't we up to 51? Is this floor 51? Let me see. Not too long before we'll be done with this and we can see the new, we can get the new artifact and try that one out.
44. Okay. Not as far as I thought we were, but still 44 is kind of high. We only get two a day open. 3,000 for each. That's 9,000 total right here at 46. We got a, what, two more days? No, one more tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll get 9,000 more. Finally, we'll be able to get some more of these to convert epics over to legendary gear, which will be really nice to have. Man, why don't we get more of this? We only get one. <laughs> One here at 47 and one at 57 for the support kind of gear. Wow. At the beginning of the battle, increase all allies damage by 15% for 20 seconds. I'll use that. I'll use that in certain arena teams for sure. I don't know where else we're going to use it, but definitely an arena team, right? 20 seconds. If I'm beating a dungeon in 50 seconds, I don't know. First 20 seconds, how well that will go, but... Hey, it's a free artifact, right? We'll take it. Free artifacts all day. Are we getting beat down? No. I couldn't tell. Somebody jumped over behind my tank. No, nah, not with all this control. We should be great. What does Zarloth have on him? Usually I have a team like this, but we've got it for Arena, and we have Tamar in here to block buffs, stun them, and decrease attack, which would be really good. But I guess we don't need it right now. <laughs> Looks like it's going pretty easy. Oh, Starlight Dice? That's right. We need to collect all the Starlight Dice we can in the next three days. I just want to see a legendary from Starlight Dice. And I want to be able to make a video on YouTube. Like when we stream here. Oh, I've got a giveaway as well. I got some codes to give away for legendary dice. Did I have some from last month? Let me check my email really quick. Where do we get our codes from? Dragonair Community. 30th? Pretty sure we gave away these codes. Reducing codes valid until... Okay, these are... Regardless if I gave those away or not, those aren't valid anymore. <laughs> okay. Let's see. These are valid. One dice, one scholar scroll, 250 worm arrow. One gold dice. Okay, we got to give away 10 dice sometimes. We'll do this on the day we do our summons. We'll do summons, and then we'll do a giveaway the same day, because then we'll have a lot of people, which is in three days from now, so not bad. Yeah, we'll wait. Defeat. What? What? It geared well. She's geared fine. We might have to hold our ultimates. Let's see what's happening here. See, she gets down pretty... Because this she gets down pretty low. Let's hold our ultimates. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, who hit us? What? Arena? Get out of here, rare. <laughs> Get out of here, garbage rare. What are you talking about? Fizzle? I'm not worried about Fizzle. Let's get her more so focused. If we can get to her. Pull her. How can we pull her in? Arena. It's going to pull in Zarloth, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Get Ripekiss and knock back our ultimate. This is actually really good. Fizzle's nowhere near as dirty as the rest of these. Resist, resist, resist. What's his accuracy? Resist, resist again. Wow. Come on, get her before she hits us. Come on. Kill her, man. What? Da dead in the back again. Okay, we need to look at Zarlos accuracy. What's he got? 
Not enough. Okay. Attack speed, skill haste. Who has Witch's Remains? I think our tank does, right? Yeah, she's got it. Okay. Increased healing. Heal when we do an ultimate. Increased healing here. She should be okay. Save that gear. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind getting nuked down, but these little rares in the back killing me, along with some crappy uh, other heroes? I mean, come on. There, she's feared in the back. We'll knock back her ultimate gauge. Recharge speed penalty. <clears throat> Anybody going to get hit in the back? Um, Do I want to use this right now? We're, we're pretty full. Everybody's full life. I just wanted to increase the... Oh, we got a stun off. Nice. Look at Rypkus. Rypkus just falls over from s battle skill of hers. This is ridiculous. If I could bring in some shields, I would work with some shields. What do we got? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got shields. We got shields along with recovery over time, remove one debuff, and we could get some pretty big shields. And we've got the book on him, so that's even better. Should we do it? Let's see. We need enlightenment. As much enlightenment as possible. Always helps. We still didn't get an enlightenment chest piece yet. For the healing set. For this right here. For 50% additional shields and healing. Hmm. Enlightenment 34. That's not too bad. It's accuracy though. <laughs> what? Well, accuracy attack, none of that's going to help him. Only enlightenment, right? Every person has watched the night. 10% of the targets and 1,800 of enlightenment. Plus uh, defense increase one, which we were getting already. So this will help out. The shield increased by 10% for everybody hit. That's right. So we can increase it by... Expires, we get some heals here. Okay. Let's go back to here. Guess we don't need to worry about that 50% increase. Let's just see what we got for enlightenment. Increase the derivative damage dealt, but this does have enlightenment. What about skill haste? Which one is skill haste? Here we go. Right there. Skill haste, HP, defense. This one have... Over here, we'll go with the same gear set. This one gives us skill haste as well with HP. So for this piece, we can just go with defense. We have it. Along with enlightenment. Hmm. Okay. Enlightenment substat now. Not the best. Not the best out there. Let's go with Emperor's Might and now Enlightenment. Three hits, 52 enlightenment. I'm down with that. Okay, this one should be enlightenment as well. It is. And then what's this? Defense with enlightenment. Three hits in enlightenment. Dang, we are doing good. So if I want skill haste with two hits into enlightenment, and if I get skill haste over here, what is this? No defense, no HP. Flat defense, flat HP. Attack he doesn't need, but let's look at the the enlightenment hits. Mm, I think we should just go for a flat defense to be safe. Let's see what kind of hits we get. I hate wasting this gold though. One hit. All right, there we go. Enlightenment of four hundred and twelve additional already. Okay, that's pretty nice. I can't complain with that. What team is this? Necro team?
Oh, see, we are we already have one. We have Tamar in here, and we have the rest of the team in here. What kind of gear do they have? Oh, that's old stuff. Really old stuff. All right, let's kill that team. Edit skill timing. I don't think we need to. Let's see. Everybody's got some pretty damn good gear, although we could get some accuracy over here with him. Let's see what kind of accuracy he's running with. Ripe kiss is a little low. Let's give him that. Oh, we could give him this. Yeah. Actually, the hourglass will go really well on our boy here. I thought we changed his skill, his accuracy up a little bit. His accuracy is really low. Okay. Stick with the attack lead and see what we can do. I think we were pretty low in accuracy, so we we're missing out on a lot of stuff. Oh, I was supposed to hit people with that so my shields would be bigger, not put it on my not put it on my guys. Fizzle's throwing something in the air. There we go. There we go. Okay, next stage. Let's get some shields up. Nice. Fat shields. Alright, we want to save all our abilities for the next wave, though. I think it's about to get pretty hard. Whoa, 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 Devrick, Devrick, whoa, wait, wait, where's my, where's my stuff? This is a guardian's duty. Okay, here we go. I think we can full auto now. It was just hard because they, they didn't have enough accuracy, although tomorrow's back here, so that's not a good... Good thing. This is a guardian's duty. Okay, she's feared. Knock it back, please. All right, good. Knock back that ultimate gauge. Easy. Pulled her forward. Let's get some decrease. Which is range? Why can't she? I love that pull-in. That pull-in is just... So so dirty. Okay. Easy now. It should stay easy. What do we got? The last one? Two purple dice again. Six total. Man, I hope I have 500. Even though I could still get no legendaries out of 500. I could. I better not. Go 10 times speed. Oh yeah, Sigrid's killing it.
Easy. After this, we'll do some 3v3 arena. Let's see if we can actually win in high ranking three. It's not really high ranking. I think we're... No, no. I put in a weak defense, so we probably dropped back down. That's right. We were up to rank 96 or so. And I really don't like fighting the mermaids, Elsebri, and, and all those other teams with Hivitar. Hivitar is ridiculous. Once, once Hivitar does their ultimate, like, good game, man. You spend some for solvent before they announce the change? You're only at 150? Oh, man. Well, you'll be at 250. Still a good shot to get a legendary, right? And we're going to get some, some, uh, is it essence or solvent? Essence, I think. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll get some more essence for our artifacts. I need some for my artifacts too. Believe me. I think everybody needs some for their artifacts. We can do two things for my account. We can open up our purple shards in three days from now to see if we get a legendary. Our purple dice. And then on the 28th, which is actually tomorrow, we've got the banner for Zephy. Now, I don't know if I want to go all in for that banner yet. You know, we have to see about that mid-season event. I'm pretty sure we can go all in. If the mid-season event allows us to do four summons and get five pulls as much as we want, I'll be pretty upset that I spent all my uh, gold dice. <laughs> but... But what can we do, man? I don't think we're going to have the mid-anniversary mid event. I think the banner for Zephy is going to fall out before we have the event. So I just got to go for it. Yeah, this one's going to be tomorrow, and it's going to end in 5-7. I don't think we'll have the event going on by 5-7, but we might have some more details by then, though. So I'll try to hold out till 5-6, I guess, and then do some summons on here. All for the rat. Eyes are drying up today. Yeah, all for the rat. Get that unkillable team. I don't know why, just, just to have it. If they had Filto and another banner, I'd probably go after Filto with all the the radiance I have. I would like to go after Filto. But really, out of all this stuff, I've got almost everything here. I'm only missing Urion out of this whole entire banner, so I don't need that. Torn would be great. Like to have a Dauntless Necrosis, a ne Dauntless, to have a Necrosis support finally, like a really good one would be awesome. We've already got, we don't have Sacred Dia. We don't have Lucinia. And Phasia would be really cool to get. We've already got Theodomir. Oh, you know what I was looking at? You know what I thought was really cool for the end of the season? If you guys save six gold dice for each of these banners, the blessed banners are insane. Check this out. Remember last season, all you had to do was spend six gold dice and then you get an epic selector box for the epics that they have available. It's a steal. Plus you get scrolls. It, it's crazy. This one lets you get Vicuck, Total Nan, and Thea. Six scrolls, boom. Or if you needed Dargo, like say you didn't have Dargo and you had Rook, you could get that one. But then the next banner, so that's that's worth that's worth it for six. And then check out this banner for six summons. Garius, Iola, Shaltar, Varesh. Insane. Whichever one you need need to pick up that you don't have, obviously go for Garius if you don't have him. There's Varesh in here, there's Iola, there's Shaltar. That's nuts. And I think is that yeah, that's not Nathaniel. And then you spend six more, 18 total. And then here you've got Furbath. And Adolphus. Crazy. For anybody who doesn't have this by this time, it is crazy end of season for just six gold dice. Because then you get the epic selector and you get to pick that actual epic you don't have out of that selection of epics we saw, which is still unheard of. For those, for those type of, like the best epics there are. Okay, so we did all of these. I still probably don't have much, you know, to level up an artifact. I'm sure. Uh, where's where's our artifacts? I'm sure I still don't have much to level up one because we did spend a few yesterday. Two thousand. Mm. 
nothing I really want to focus in. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till we get some more. Let's go to do P let's go do some PVP. We did Vortex. Oh, we've got some stamina to spend. Where should I spend stamina? You know what I want? Just to play around with. Like I don't even feel like I need it for anything on my any of my teams, but I do want a piece of chess piece for this. The wearer has an additional 50% chance to dispel one buff from the enemy when inflicting a debuff. I wouldn't mind a couple chess pieces, but this whole like I don't want this, I don't want this one, and I don't want that one. 20% of the damage dealt by the wearer is converted into healing when their HP drops below 50%. I don't know. I just... But this gear is good, right? The This is the puppeteer gear. This is the healing gear. I really like the puppeteer gear. For the 50 15% additional defense to people around them. It's pretty nice, but I don't know. I feel like if I, if I farm here at all, it's kind of a waste of stamina. If I'm going to waste my stamina farming here, I should just go do Heretical Runes or Ancient Battlefield or something where it might benefit me better. Here's my free-to-play team I was working on last night for Ancient Battlefield. For people who are having issues there. Okay, not this one. Let's go. But how do we have them geared on this one? He's got the mana core statue. Mm, I feel like we need to put him in the slingshot to get his attack up higher. Everybody else was pretty decent. But survivability here, and we weren't using Witch's Remains either. That would be nice to get this one up then. I can't. Can't even level it up from 16 to 18. So sad. So incredibly sad. All right, let's go to PvP. I want to see what kind of teams we can face. See how much easier. I'm sure I've dropped down quite a bit. Have one of the chess pieces. You've got one of those. I mean, I just want to use it for fun to play around. So I feel like just farming there. I have one good puppeteer set. And I could always use some more. I don't know. I just feel like it's such a waste. Let, let's farm with what I've got right now. Let's just knock it out. And then we'll do some summons or crafting with our artifacts and see if we get anything. Crafting with gear and see if we get anything good from running these few runs. And then I probably just need to go back and run Goblin, right? For, for XP. And then Domains, when I want to level something up. I just don't know what other teams I want to level up right now. And we didn't get a new event today, did we? What do we have running right now? We have a Grave of Curse event that came out a couple days ago, I think. And we had an Arena event. I thought the Arena event, event is over with. Okay, we're finally in Blaze State. <laughs> finally. This is my domain. Take heart. Time to test the power of the There we go. The real damage came. Fifty two seconds is not bad. What was I just saying about the events? Go play Raid U. How is Raid doing, man? What's going on in Raid Shadow Legends? I hear you can do a login reward and get a free new legendary, right? This lady with the quill. How is that? I heard she's not great, though. At least that's what it looked like from some of the thumbnails I saw. Like she was pretty terrible. Is that true? Is that true at all? Third Max coming in with the Raid Shadow Legends call out. Let's see what kind of events we have. We just need some more rolling events. Honestly, this 
or these need to go much further out or something and have cooler, longer rewards. Ace challengers up for another day. I guess there are two going on right now. That's pretty good considering we don't always have two going on. I guess that's not bad. Do you? Hey, man, I appreciate that. It's been a long time since I've done a raid video. We could start up a new free-to-play raid account and do videos on the brand new experience, but I'm sure everybody does that. You know? That's something that all content creators who cover raid do every single year. Here's my free-to-play account. They play it for a while and then make some videos from this, you know, from time to time. And then bounce out, you know? But I have no idea what's going on with that game. Have you been playing Watchers of Realms? Tower Defense? That seems a little bit more interesting than me going back to Raid because I did play Watchers of Realms for a couple months in beta. And I had a good time with it. And we know that King Arthur Legends Rise is never going to come out, so... I don't know what's going on with that game. No idea what's going on with that game. This is my domain. Pull yourself together. Time to test the power. With videos? Yeah, man, I had a lot of fun. I mean, I will say Raid Shadow Legends had the best tower mode that I've ever played. Like a great tower mode, right? And I love tower modes. They reset every month. They give you good challenges. They had some really unique bosses in there. Some really cool floors to get past. Some really annoying floors with those siffies. Like double, triple siffies and whatever else was with her. Those were really annoying. Especially to get past is free to play, you know. Not so hard as with legendary heroes, but it's free to play. Pretty annoying to get past a lot of that stuff. It was fun and challenging. And unlike this game, nothing reset. So we didn't have to level back up our heroes and refarm some gear and all that. Which I think is a much better way to do your game in general i think that's a much better way to do your game we could have seasons. you know even this game could have it to where you don't reset anything you just have seasons that stop and start you could do that pretty easily but you'd have to change some things you know because we do get a little bit too much experience if we're gonna have things carry over from season to season we do get too much experience But there are a lot of cool new games, I hope, coming out soon. This year, there's got to be something, right? What? What? All I've seen this year come out is are anime games, right? AFK Journey, a whole bunch of other anime games, a crap ton of idle games. Idle games are always coming out 24-7. we got to eventually have something on the horizon that's not anime-based. It's like a fantasy-based something awesome. I hope. I don't know. I feel like companies just don't make games like this very often that look like what we're looking at right now, which I think Dragonair has the best looking game out of any of them. Hands down. Out of all of them, best looking for sure. You cannot deny that. Now, Watches of Realms does have some really cool looking models that are on par with what we have model-wise here. Like when you're looking at your the paper doll, the player screen, to where you equip your gear... They are pretty awesome there. They're not as awesome when you're playing the game, but they are pretty sweet there. I feel like they're actually really comparable to each other. Like, if we put them side by side, you'd be like, okay, it could be the same game, you know? All those Watcher of Realms does have some way sexier ones. <laughs> some way sexier waifus over in Watchers than in this one. I mean, we've got some ladies in here with, like, even this mermaid over here. She's wearing, like, a brawl, I think. But watchers are drawn. They're drawn differently. This is my domain. Take heart. Time to test the power of evil. Dead. <laughs> yeah, you got to call. You got to call them out, man. Always. You got to call those companies out. Ooh, is this one I wanted? HP. No, it's done. I could have this as the stun person on Ancient Battlefield. Oh, yeah, that's right. What I wanted from here is that one gear piece so I could do a free-to-play, like, try a different free-to-play team. What happened? Did it... Oh, it's frozen when you're looking at gear. I wanted to get that one gear piece that removes 
a buff when you apply a debuff so we could test that out on Ancient Battlefield with like a free-to-play team. Not worry about bringing somebody in like Gloin that can remove buffs. Bringing in somebody that puts up a lot of debuffs all the time and then we have that gear set on and then have them remove the buffs. That's what I wanted to do. But that would mean farming in here until I found a chest piece. And who knows how long that's going to be. But I really haven't farmed here. <laughs> Not much. And I don't have any two-time run tickets right now. But why not? We'll just use, let's use all our stamina in here today. Why not? What else we got to do? I think I have four teams already. Although I should look at my four teams to make sure my four teams are good for this week. Five teams? I, I really should. I really should chart my, you know, go over to the Google Doc and chart out who I'm leveling up for each of my six teams. I should kind of like a smart player would already already have that planned out. Which hero do I need to level up for all six of my teams? 30 heroes total to get decent damage. And I don't even know what team I'm going to play on the dragon. Maybe I should work on that team. Or we could do that tomorrow. We can do it later today or we can do it tomorrow. But I do need to work on my team for the dragon. Have you guys been working on your dragon teams? The shield team should be the, you know, pretty much the shield guy should be the same team that you're running through Ancient Battlefield. Similar to that, it should be pretty easy. You have all but the dragon, Chitty? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do for the dragon. I need to at least have an idea of what I'm going to do for the dragon and maybe just go ahead and level that up. It's poison. But I don't have any poison. See, that's the problem with the poison. You either have the three legendary poisoners, Bacana, Jathalie, or Lothair, or you have nothing. Or you have Sigrid. I mean, that's it, right? One of the three legendaries, or you got Sigrid. Now, I do have Durango, and he's probably not scrolled. Oh, I also do have Urgander. So Urg Urgander would be good. Decreased attack all the time, I guess, but I feel like I was getting decreased attack up on that boss all the time. Anyways, what I need on that boss are big, fat shields. Because that boss just does too much AoE damage every time it does the AoE. I was fighting that boss, and I had decreased attack before it left the ground. It still was on when it came back, and then I applied decreased attack right away when it came back so that we would have decreased attack up when it does the two battle skills, which are two AoE moves. So I had decreased attack, 100% uptime on that boss, and that boss still was wrecking my team. So I needed somebody to come in and bring shields. I can't think of what else I would do, you know? Damage reduction of 30% if there's somebody that could do that, sure. But the, the dragon just does too much damage. Just battle skill attacks were just eating my people alive. So I don't know what I'm going to use on that one. I mean, here's the thing. With, with my 40, I already did 40 summons, so it doesn't really... I could get 7 million on that boss, and I would still get the uh, legendary, you know? So it's not like I've got to do well on that boss, but it's, you know, at least you want to do a nice one. Guess I could use the MC like I'm doing on Ancient Battlefield. Like I said, we I've got the MC pumping out 21,000 HP shields, which are really nice. But he is pretty fragile, so if we're going to pump him out like that, we could. If we're going to do Ice Poison Team. Be nice if we had the new girl, the new the new legendary. <laughs> so she could apply shields. And then do decrease attack with those shields. But she only applies shields in the beginning and applies shields on her ultimate. And I was looking at the power of her shield that she does. It's not that great. If you look at the coefficients for Adolphus, where he does... I think Adolphus does 14 or 15% of your max HP plus 3,120 of enlightenment. She only does like 12% of the target's max HP and 2,000 enlightenment. It's a really big difference from what that legendary does shields based on and Adolphus does shields based on. I know she has another component to where she has a chance to freeze people and she also does decrease attack. I get that, but still. What's up with the drops here? This makes no sense. Look at this. If we do six runs over in Venom, we get far more gear than this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got one gear drop every single run. 
and not even enough to make six more. If we go do Grave of Venom, we get two gear drops pretty often, right? I feel like this is far worse than Grave of Venom. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but whenever I do Grave, I see a lot more. I'm telling you, I see a lot more Legendary. HP percentage. Defense percentage. Which one? Okay, nice. This is actually really good. Yo, Midnight, what's going on? Yeah, I am. My my wife's at work half day today. My kids are doing their stuff, and I got to knock out these streams before the end of the month. Yeah, well, welcome, my friend. Welcome. we just been doing a little bit. Of, we went around to the pillars. We did our Vortex team. Now we're trying to just grind some gear here because I don't really care about the gear here. But I didn't grind here yet. I honestly don't feel like I need to grind here because I have a I have like one good puppeteer set that's probably good enough. And I was trying to get one of those pieces of mythical gear that whenever you apply a debuff, you remove a buff. You have a 50% chance to. I was trying to do that, but looking at these drops, I feel like they're pretty terrible. Maybe it's just my bad luck, but I don't know. I feel like we get a lot more elsewhere. Maybe the lightning. Yeah, yeah, that one, right? Working on getting the lightning boss radiant vulnerable team together. A radiant team. That's the one with the shield. The shield guy. The, 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 the rare and epic rally do not do well against. Yeah, yeah. What are you trying to do for that? We'll work on those tomorrow. I want to do those tomorrow. Which one? What, what might be good against the lightning boss? Well, when I used... Who did I use? I used that one elf that every six shots gives somebody rally. I used... Um, Higio and Welby. And the boss kept removing rally, so it wasn't working out well. We couldn't get enough damage. Oh, where it removes a buff? Because that boss gets buffs, right? He's just like kind of like Ancient Battlefield. Yeah, it'd be nice. If you had somebody applying a lot of debuffs, it'd be nice to use that. Linkos? Ugh. When is that guy applying debuffs, though? It has to be somebody applying a debuff, and then you have a 50% chance to remove a buff. Linkos isn't applying a debuff, right? And you want somebody that's applying debuffs pretty often. But he's vulnerable to Radiant, and there aren't a lot of Radiant heroes that are applying debuffs all the time. Because they're all trying to do Rally instead, or Aura. What gear piece, then? Yeah, yeah, but the... Not to apply debuffs. What? Yeah, the Mythic gear piece says whenever you apply a debuff, you have a 50% chance to remove a buff. That's the one you're talking about? Right, but who are you going to use that Mythic gear piece on, though? I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you can only use that Mythic gear piece on somebody who removes, or who applies a debuff. <laughs> right? Linkos, ugh. I don't even know. Is he doing anything? Is Linkos, like legit doing anything on that team i wonder i wonder if you took out a different like if you if you this is on your main account you don't have a test server so you can't go test it we can we can test it for you but if you took him out linkos and you put in a different aura like any different aura champion would you get more damage i think you would i i honestly think you would how are you building him maybe i should uh try out some different builds because he's not pulling in damage, right? He's not really pulling in that much damage. This is my I swear that guy's broken. I don't know what it is, but I swear that guy's broken. But maybe he's doing good on that boss. Maybe he puts out that little uh, bouncing around ad, whatever it is, the summons. And then that summons is doing some damage. This is my nice. What's up, Rifter? How you doing today? Yeah, but Theohin is pulling in the most damage out of that team. Who, who's pulling on the, Like, where is he at in the hierarchy of damage? He's last place, right? 
Those are two epics. He's last place behind those two epics, correct? Ooh, is this it? And it's accuracy. Interesting. Okay, I could actually use this. It's, it's not, I don't want accuracy necessarily, but hey, if I'm trying to apply debuffs, then at least I got my accuracy in there. It's all right. His ultimate only does 400%. Yeah, but his ultimate is supposed to put that ad on somebody that's supposed to bring in some serious damage when they attack. And then... He's supposed to be getting everybody or energy, right? But how do you have a legendary that's supposed to be some kind of damage dealer at like last place? I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand how you ever have any legendary that's not a support that's in last place. Like if it's a support legendary, okay, great. If I've got Finya and she's in last place in damage, well, obviously she's a healer. But she still Finya still does damage, right? <laughs> but if I've got somebody who doesn't do healing, who doesn't do shielding, who doesn't do unkillable, who's not a, like a Zephy or Ogok, even though both of those do healing. If he's in last place behind rares and epics, how is he a legendary? That's what I don't get with that guy. Let's, let's go to the test server and test that guy out. There's got to be a way to get damage out of him, right? Let me get down underneath the, the stamina I have right now and let's test it out. I just can't believe that you... That they put a legendary into the game that just doesn't work. I mean, I can believe it. I can believe it happens. I just think it's pitiful. I just don't get it. I, I want to look at that guy and see how much damage that little that summons does. And I want to look at what hits his does and, and get an idea. I know all of it's based off of the enemy's max HP. And then our attack percentage so whatever our attack percentage is it does you know damage based off of enemy max hp all the way up to 400 percent 700 percent 800 percent of our attack it's all different from all the aura heroes all around completely different but how can you come out with i mean it's the same thing with thunderbolt right <laughs> it's the same thing with electrocute with Electrocute, how could you come out with rares and epics for Electrocute and they just are garbage? They they don't do anything. And they don't do any damage like a normal common would do. And they definitely don't apply the Electrocute debuff because they've only got like a 40% chance to apply it on those epics and rares. So they're not even doing their jobs. This is my domain. I don't know. I don't think it's the I don't think it's the right time to get the company to do that kind of stuff because they're in transition. Being balled out, change of ownerships going on, all that kind of stuff. So it's not a good time because they had to push back their mid anniversary event because of this change of ownership, whatever they're doing, you know? So they said. So I don't think right now is a good time to be like, hey, buff all your uh you know fix your heroes. I don't even call that a buff. Like when something when something is working so badly, so poorly, that's not buffing a hero. That's just fixing it because it's not in line with even like a median, medium line for what heroes do damage and how they function. They're not even there. They're not even right there at it. At least Zorak is kind of like right at the line. He's a legendary. He's not amazing. He's just there and he can do his job. So it's kind of hard to get them to, to, to change a guy like that. Who's just like right on the line of being sucky and being just, just okay. But he's a legendary. And then you've got some that I feel like, especially Linkos, that guy is well below. Like he's just not performing at all. And I got to see, I got to see, I got to see some details on him. I don't know. Maybe if we put him in the slingshot, get his attack super, super high. Then when he puts that summon on somebody, that summons can do some damage. I mean, we know what the real issue is. The real issue is that you just don't get into blaze state fast enough and you don't stay into blaze state long enough. So then you're just not doing damage. Like if we look at our girl right here, who's an exclusive, when she hits on her ultimate ability, it's awesome when she has blaze state. Now keep in mind, she is an exclusive. So of course she's going to be stronger than other people. But she's in blaze state now with her glowing hands. And when she does her ultimate, she's going to do some good damage now. Three hits. There we go. 
But when she's not in her blaze state, like the hit is weaker than this dude's hit. Weaker than other people, like weaker than anybody on my team's um, hit. Weaker than anybody's ultimate here, although hers is healing. Yeah, that's her normal ultimate. She is doing a lot of damage, but that's how we have her geared. Plus, she can always crit, so we got a lot of critical damage and a lot of attack. This is my domain. Take heart. All right, two more fights of this, and then we'll go over to the test server. I'm ready to test some stuff out. I don't have a lot of things to do, although I did wanted to do 3v3 PvP because it's been fun lately. I've been looking at the enemy's team. I've been like looking at my three teams and moving them around and having some fun with 3v3 a little bit. Although we don't really have any control in there. I kind of wish we did, but still been kind of entertaining. I've had some really close fights down to 1v1 and I'm not sure who's going to win. We're both doing our basic attacks to each other. It's been pretty wild. All right, let's do this last attack, and then I can farm these in the background if I need to. I can farm these later on. We're low enough on stamina, I think, now after this one. Hourglass and, and uh, energy harvest gloves on him? Energy harvest gloves. Which ones are those? Are those the one with uh, skill haste, where you get attack from skill haste? I think that's what I've got on my Diantha. Let's go look at her really quick before we jump to the test server. Let's look at my... Um, my Vortex team and see how we have her geared. And the only reason why I gear that way is because she's just not performing. Like those two legendaries aren't performing well. So I'm just trying to put them in the support role to enhance Amon here because she's an exclusive. If I didn't have this exclusive, I got to tell you, I wouldn't be playing Aura. And I know you're playing it against that shield guy because that's what we got to do. Radiant versus that person, right? To get damage. But if I didn't have Amon, I would not even be playing Aura. If I had the, if I had all the Aura legendaries and did not have the exclusive, I wouldn't even be bothered with it. I would just shelve those others, <laughs> Diantha and Linkos, and never touch them. That's how bad it is. Okay, so we got this chess piece one that I wanted. Just to play around and try some stuff out. It looks like we got a lot of puppeteer sets. Defense percentage again, man. Okay, we're set with Puppeteer. Like, really set. Only other thing would be cool to have somebody heal off of the damage they do every once in a while, but we don't need it. Let's go craft. It'd just be fun to play with every now and again, I guess. Now, why don't... Since we have a chance... You know what would be cool? When we craft, why don't we have a chance to hit like a, a 20 roll on crafting and it's a mythic piece? Don't you think they should have included that? When we come in here, we craft is just the same thing as running through a dungeon run. So if I craft 10 times within these 10, you could have it go like boo, 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 and then boom, it's a mythic piece. That would have been fun. And it'd be the same thing as, as a dungeon run. Damn, man, more defense. Oh, this is a healing one. Okay. Still. Crit rate, HP percentage. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do that. HP on the healing one. Okay, that's good. Because you, you roll on every single one you do, but this roll is just to get you back some base iron ore. It's nothing else. Okay, let's go look at my girl. More coding than they have time for? I... Yes, I don't know what they've been working on. <laughs> Guess. Vortex.
Okay, so, so she, since she doesn't do any damage for some reason, she's a legendary, again, another aura legendary that does no damage. She doesn't have a three or a five hit ultimate. She does, she can in play state do multiple hits on her battle skill. So I guess, I guess AOE, she might be able to pick up some damage, but it's going to be nowhere near the damage that corrosion AOE does or that shadow AOE does because she still sucks. She still just absolutely sucks, but she does have AOE here and she has AOE there and then she has AOE on the basics. So we'll try it out. 100% radiant damage each time the number of orbs fired can be accumulated four times between enemies dealing 100% each time the number of orbs fired accumulated. And then three by three here doing 250%. And then if she's in blaze state, she'll do 5% total max HP extra up to 250% of her attack. Here we do 400% of attack and 8% of total max HP. No more than 800% of her attack. So this actually sounds like it would be a huge hitting skill if you had really high attack on her and you went up against somebody who had really high max HP, which we have nobody in the game that has this. Like nobody in the game has high max HP because they're all limited on the vortex or all limited on uh, chief challenges. All the uh, bosses don't have high max HP. Nothing we fight has high max HP. And if she had really high attack, you would think this hit could be very hard, but it's garbage. <laughs> and then she puts up 20% additional damage that we don't need accuracy for, which is awesome. During which aura energy consumed by the allies will be returned at a cost of depleting 10 aura energy of the hero instead. And you gain 35 aura if not in blaze state. So here we're helping out other people get into blaze state. So I, I made her fast, right? That's the whole point. Since she's not doing damage, I can't find a way to make her do damage. I just try to make her fast. I was like, okay, let's have her do this skill as often as possible and give 10 aura energy to our girl Amon over here. And then let's have her enter this consumption of domain state as often as possible. You know, when she go, when she finally gets enough aura to do it, she enters into this to help out Amon as well. And then her damage is garbage. Which, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, we could even go further and give her some more skill haste here with a different set. We could take off the aerial and give her some more skill haste just from whatever we can, man. I don't know if it would help, but, but we could see defense HP skill haste. Defense, defense, skill, haste. I'm not going to mess with it at this moment, but... She's got flat attack. Attack speed. We don't need accuracy. I could put this on her. Is that is this is this real? Sometimes I can't tell like what's what's real and that's real. Is that what's really on her? Do I have any crit rate? Yeah, we've got a good one right here. Okay, now let's look for some more skill haste. Crit rate of 12, 14, there we go. 17 crit rate, pretty nice. Although, I mean, what other substats will we get? Pretty much just crit rate is the only thing we can do. 13 crit rate, eight. Let's go with this one. I mean, our attack's pretty damn high. Attack percentage, attack percentage. That's not accurate. Attack with crit rate and attack with crit rate. Defense with skill haste and crit rate. Let's see what we get. Hmm. It's not bad. She is always one of the first to die. Attack goes down a bit. Okay, let's save this gear for tomorrow's run. 
She just get we gained 20 skill haste, but we're in the Emperor set. She's got a lot of attack anyways, and we're just trying to get back into trying to get back to help her out to get into Blaze State more often, I guess. That's it. When what? Lending sale? Okay, I'm going to go to the test server. Let's try Lenkos. Let's see what we can do to improve his damage if we can. Is there a way to make this guy do some more damage? Like just do, just to do normal damage. Can this guy ever beat out an, an epic or a rare? Or is he doomed to always be like the trashiest legendary for the new, uh, like the worst legendary for, for the new damage types? He's got to be, right? Okay, test server time. This is good. I like doing stuff on the test server. It's always fun. And we have unlimited resources. I'm not struggling like my rain account. <laughs> it's so much nicer to, to try all this stuff out. It's so nice. Okay. So the vortex boss, or not the vortex boss, the shield boss, right? This shield boss over here. Where is he? This one? Okay, tell me we have a team kind of made. I think we have the rally team made, but we don't really have horror. There we go. Okay, resistance. We got it made. We've got defense, HP, defense, resistance. Her resistance is 195, plus we're getting additional 125, plus I believe on this one, yeah, we do. We have the elemental advantage. Here's the thing that really makes me mad. It really makes me mad. Look at her resistance. Let's just say a clean 200 plus another 100. That will, that's, that's 320 right now. 320 resistance plus 50 from our elemental affinity. Almost 400 resistance. And she's going to get stunned from time to time. Call BS, man. I call BS. I'm actually going to equip him with the staff because we're just trying to see what kind of damage we can get. I'm not worried about... I, I just want to survive longer so we can look at the damage. I'm not too concerned with using legendary... Like being, oh my god, I'm using a legendary. Where is the staff? Okay, he's going to absorb some of their damage that they take. Great. We're going to get some fat shields. We've got her geared out. Her... And her okay so we got three people geared out she's gonna be our witch's remains because she does multiple hits and then she's gonna every once in a while give us additional attack and the ultimate skill whenever she reaches blaze state she'll give that but it's like one time it takes forever to get to and then apparently she's supposed to still be our nuker right is theo hen still like a good damage dealer because i thought they kind of nerfed her a little bit now we re we should really put them all in we should put them all in um, save. Let's change them. Let's do one run right here so we can compare it. And then we'll put them all in the Emperor set. And they're going to definitely increase the damage. Okay, let's go with defense. See how much we get. I'll take a screenshot when we're done here. Anti. Uh, oh, that's why you put it on our girl here in the back. That way she can never be stunned no matter what. Yeah, I guess I guess that's smart if I have one of those pieces. I mean, I do on the test server. I've got it. Plus Ardrith 100 and still needs Sagamir to not get stunned? What? That's so stupid. That's just so stupid. It's a chief challenge. You, you don't even have to have that. Like, what's the accuracy we needed on a chief challenge? 270? I think that's what we've always had to have season one, season two, 270 accuracy. So we do 220, then we have our 50 from our elemental affinity, and it's pretty simple to get the accuracy we need. Be cleansed by my light. 
if this dude every once in a while is stunning us when we've got 400 like I do right now, that's uh, unacceptable, man. Unacceptable. <laughs> totally unacceptable. So we don't have decreased attack. That's a real bad thing for us. We don't have a way to remove buffs on him. That's really bad for us right now. We should be taking a lot more damage, but we're using the staff on Garius. So we're surviving, right? Now, Garius does have the skill haste that we could actually stay with the boss. We probably should stay with the boss, right? We should have Garius do his shield right here for this move. He's going to hit the highest attack person, right? Which is Theohin. Why do we have him casting it like right after? What kind of weird... We got him casting it right after the ultimate. What are we doing? Yeah, he's holding it every time until we're hit. I guess he's healing and shielding after that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we get it? I guess that's a good time. Because we are kind of full health until then. Actually, the best time. Yeah, I guess I guess we're kind of full health right now, right? And we're not taking damage until now. And then immediately he heals back to full and gives shields and then keeps pounding the ground. Yeah, I guess that is a good time. Maybe that's what we thought when we set this up initially. And then Meredith is healing us to full. We could definitely survive a lot longer if we took these, took that increased attack off. Yeah, but soon I think he's going to nuke Theohin if I keep doing it like this. He needs to get shields up before. Let me do it early. Because if we're at full life, it's going to be the whole entire shield is going to be the heal. So it might as, might as well do it before he hits us. Right now. Yeah, that's the best time to do it. Let's see if we'll stay on cycle now. And we could have Meredith heal after, like before, before Garius goes. Okay, we need to pay attention to how many, like what the time is. Oh, if we go to full time, then that's great. Okay, fantastic. We go full time, we'll change gear, we go full time, and then we'll change over to Linkos. And we'll keep re-gearing Linkos to see if we can pick up his damage somehow. We'll gear him in a lot of different gear with a lot of different artifacts and see what the hell that dude's even doing. Like, is he even... Are you even legendary, bro? Be cleansed by my light. By ancestors' names. Not bad for a prototype. Yeah, Theo Hin is still pulling in a lot of damage, but Theo Hin does have roots on right now. Let me put Theo let, let me do one more run after this. With the same gear, nothing changed, full time. I want to change that. Roots over to Karath. Is that her name? Let's see what kind of damage Karath is going to do then. And I guess it would be good to actually put that, uh, that chess piece on Meredith so we don't have messed up... You know, because when she does... When she does get stunned, we don't get that backlash effect. And I don't want it to mess up our numbers. Probably won't happen that often, but... All about that staff, gatekeeper staff. Thing is ridiculous. Okay, this is Ariel. I 
That's all aerial, and then she has roots. Roots. I'm writing on this picture. You want to you see my awesome aerial with roots? Okay, save that. Desktop. Aura testing. Okay. He casts ultimate, but the damage pulses afterwards. It does pulse afterwards, but we need the, sh the big shield on, plus everybody's high health, so all healing is going to go to shielding, so it's better just to do it uh, beforehand, because if we didn't, eventually he gets strong enough that he would nuke our girl here. So I just want to see if she's still doing awesome damage. So to do that, let me go... Let's see, is this gear saved? I can't remember. It's been a while since we've been on the test server. She's in gear three, and she's in gear one. So I'm just going to switch gear out completely from those two. Now, Theohin should still be more of a damage dealer than this other girl. Then, um, Kareth. I don't know. Ivy kept saying she was nerfed. So I just want to see if she was actually nerfed. Like the wording, it wasn't just a wording change. They, she, she was saying that she was doing a lot less damage. Now I haven't played with her in a while, Theohin. Because I've got the exclusive, so I haven't had to worry about it. Okay, this is critical damage with skill haste, crit rate 7. We should actually change these out too. Although she's got critical damage and attack with crit rate as well. She's well over capped. Okay, we'll just keep it. Save that gear. Let's go over here to edit skill timing to 19.5. 20 seconds, right? 20 seconds. And now I want... 12.5 and 14. I'm going to reverse their skill order because when this girl fires off, she needs somebody else to fire off after her to get Witch's Remains up and then she'll be the one doing the most damage like our main damage dealer set up. She's on 22.7. Hmm. Save. She's got skill haste at 33 and she's, she's still at 22.7. Skill haste five. Oh no, <laughs> what? Skill haste nineteen. All right, let's put that on her. Fifty-two. Twenty-one point nine. Man, she cannot get there, huh? She can't get down to twenty seconds easy at all. So we'll start her out. Okay, at thirteen, and then she'll slowly creep up. Yeah, let's do her normal. Now, did we go attack lead or defense lead? Crap. Do you guys remember if we had attack lead or defense lead on that last run? I'm guessing it was defense. I think the one with Theohin that we did was defense lead, maybe? <sighs> See what happens. Hey, uh, Midnight, can you guess what I got delivered this morning? You got, you got any clue about what I got delivered this morning to my house? <laughs> oh, man. Not bad for a prototype. Who's doing damage here? So, prototype, she's still... Well, now they're kind of on par. <laughs> He's in more shoes. Well, yeah, I guess. These are like a Japanese... I think these are a Japanese brand. You see the design? Can you see the design on it? It's like a Japanese brand Nike. See the swish? The swish is kind of like uh, the swish is 
sewn in, kind of. Kind of very, like, you can't even really see it, right? And it's got, like, these Japanese-style wind-blowing and trees in it. It'll go good. Like, this will go really good with shorts. These are Nikes. These are, these are, I don't, I don't know. I guess you can buy these in America. I don't know if they're exclusive to Japan. Sometimes they do have their own kind of Japanese things, but I don't think this is exclusive to Japan. Yeah, I put it up on my Discord. <laughs> I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna show a picture to my wife though. Who's that? Who's that person? I, I don't wanna show my wife. My wife will be like, what? Here's a cool picture of them right here that I put on my Discord. So they got the Nike logo on the back, they got the the swish on the side, but you can't really tell. And uh they got the Nike right there. These are gonna look good, man. They're gonna look really good with 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 shorts. I'm not sure what those are. Trees and something else? I don't know, but that's it for Nike. We got to go Converse now. I got to hit up that Converse uh, online shop here in Japan and, and uh, see what I really want there. And for the Converse, I'll have my wife look over it and see if she likes them. And then I'll see if there's like the same size for each of us. That way, when I buy them, I won't feel so guilty. I'll be like, hey, I got you a pair of shoes together. We can match. Matchy, matchy. I, I won't have to, like, hide the shoes. She doesn't know. When she walks in here and sees all these shoes everywhere, she doesn't know what, to, like, if I got new ones or not. There's too many of them for her to know if I got new ones or not. You know, she doesn't really know. So it's a secret. It's a secret, man. She doesn't know the secrets. Okay, what was our total overall damage that we got from the last fight? It was... Where did I save this? I think we're going to do less damage, or it could be the same damage. They're just they're just closer to each other now. 34 million... 34.5 million. We're only at 18. I think we're going to do far less damage. So Theo Hin is without a doubt still... The highest damage dealer, epics and rares, I would say. Imelda Marcos? Is that the lady that had like the thousand shoes? The one that, uh, my, my, my mom said something about some lady. She was like, you're going to have more shoes than, and she showed me a picture of this lady who had, and, like they found out she had, an, like maybe they went to repossess everything and she had an insane amount of shoes or something. Or they were spending money they shouldn't have, or some kind of dictator. Is that her? Yep, from the Philippines. Oh, it is her? Is a Philippine uh, politician. Convicted criminal. First lady of the Philippines in 1965 to 1986. Wielding significant political power after her husband, Marco Fernandez Marco... Placed the country under martial law in 1972. Wow. But she's the mother of the current president. It's not. It's still under martial law. How can this lady, her heirs be like. I guess they don't vote for for political office over there, huh? It's a. It's, uh, they got a dictatorship over there? For the Philippines, that's weird because we used to have a whole bunch of military bases in the Philippines, right? Na naval bases in the Philippines. Where are her shoe? Where's her shoes? <laughs> shoes. Shoes museum. Ah, oh, she has a museum. Holy crap, man! Look at that. They're in a museum now, but I wonder how she had them. Oh, that's not a good picture now. This looks like a cooler picture on the side here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> she's got her whole she's got her whole shoe store. They're all just one size though. It's wild. Okay, what do we get? Almost the same though. So we just changed the gear from Herndig to Kareth. And we got the same gear. So what we'd really need to do, like we want to see if she is doing the most damage, what we need to do is just put them side by side on the test dummy to really see if Herndig, 
Hearn, what's her name? Theo Hinn. If Theo Hinn is still doing like top damage or not, we just have to test him out solely. But almost the same amount. I'm, I'm guessing Theo Hinn is still doing crazy damage compared to the others. But she's not. I feel like she's not doing as much damage as she was before. Anyways, we're supposed to be focused on Linkos, right? Let's focus on that guy first. Tomorrow we can go test all this stuff out with uh, the test dummy and stuff and start making some charts if we want to. Okay, so she's doing the most damage. We'll keep her in. We're actually going to take her out because we need this girl here for decreased defense. She's the only consistent or decreased defense we have for multi-hits. So we're going to put the gear back on her. Oh, we're going to move everybody to an Emperor set though, right? Let's do that. She had the eyeball on. Hmm. All right. Now from here, we need to make... Do I have any made? I guess I did all that Emperor set testing on my main account when I showed that one video. So for this, let's start out with our highest DPS or this girl. Attack percentage... Emperor's Might. All right, we got a lot though. Are these all attack percentage? Way more attack percentage than I'll ever have on my account. We hit crit on that one. Little crit critical damage and attack with crit. That one's pretty good. There's our boy right there. He's got this gear piece on him. <laughs> He's chilling. Okay, we have attack percentage or crit rate. Let's get attack percentage to make sure that... Well, she's going to have high attack with... Without a doubt, with the roots on. But we'll still see how much attack percentage we have for this piece. These type. Yeah, yeah. Carnage. That was nice. We hit crit rate on that. Three hits into critical damage and crit rate? Holy crap. Mm-hmm. That's nice. 79% chance to crit. We'll take it with that kind of... It's all attack, so it doesn't matter. Even if we don't crit that often. Attack, 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 attack here. Critical damage. We can actually change this out for attack now if we want to. She's got attack with crit rate 15. Man, the gear on the test server is not playing around. Garments? Hairstyles? Delicacies? What do these have to do with research? So this is imp one. Okay. To survive in free today's killing, one must bear a resolute heart. Where is it? Imp, imp set. Crit rate three. <laughs> Look at this piece. Oh man, Amon would love this piece. Four hits into critical damage. We're not going to use that because that's a little bit too ridiculous. But let's see if we can get some more crit rate somewhere. Man, four hits into critical damage. Boy. I would be in love with that piece. Damn, that piece is insane. Two hits into crit, two hits into critical damage. We got to use that. That's <laughs> bonkers.
All right. So now attack percentage. She's got crit rate on. That has accuracy. Let's save the accuracy. Oh, no, that, that one's got good accuracy. We'll save that one for our other witch's remains. Get rid of critical damage if we can. Sixty-eight. That's fine. Yeah, okay, I think she's good. Imp two. Although without a hundred percent chance to crit, we're going to get variations in numbers, for sure, for our total damage. But what can you do? Okay, now this girl needs to have a little bit of accuracy, I believe. What's going on? Uh, oh, if it was Ariel with all that additional critical, the four hits into critical damage to get uh, additional attack from it. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Attack with crit rate. Four crit rate. What? What's happening here? Four crit rate. That's it. <laughs> okay. Crit rate and accuracy. I think we had one or two. Three crit. All right. Well, she's not going to crit that often. That's fine. Unless we get some serious hits on... There's two hits into it. I'll take that one. Where'd it go? I think there was attack percentage, crit rate, and accuracy, right? Yeah, this one right here. Okay. She's got critical damage. I think we're going to have to stay with critical damage because we do not have another attack piece. Well, we could probably have attack piece with accuracy. Yeah. Take that back. My skill haste. Critical damage. And crit rate, finally. She's rocking a crazy amount of accuracy. We can actually get rid of some of this. We can go with an attack, yeah. Mm. 170 plus 50. Actually, she's a little short with that, right? If we go with attack and accuracy, with, I think there was that one good one. This will give us 23. 193 plus 50? We're still a little shy. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Well, let's see what kind of accurate. Let's see what kind of accuracy ones. Maybe we've got accuracy with some really good substats. Like that. Look at all that. Attack. Oh my god. If I could add this on so many of my other pieces. Attack percentage, flat attack, crit rate, critical damage. Like all of it. Unreal. Okay, this is our set for... Imp 3 will be kind of our Witch's Remains one, right? I think it'll have the most accuracy. Losing accuracy, losing accuracy. Yeah, it does. Every song has its own. All right. So we got 32 million last round, right? 34 million point, 34 point, uh, 5 million before. First run. Did I save a picture of the last run? 34.5, 32 the other way. I don't think I saved that second one. Bad 
Okay, are we going to be able to blow away that 34 million or not? This guy does get an attack increase, though. So it might kind of hinder our Emperor set. For sure, it can. We're not going to have enough attack. But this guy should have really low attack, right? They should all have low attack to start with. How much is that attack increase? 30%? Mm, I don't know. Oh, I have our timing messed up, though. Hold on. Let's make sure we're, we're getting this boss when we do Backlash, too. So whenever he does... We change the skill thing. 14 seconds, 12.5. He does Backlash at what? 10 seconds. And it lasts for 10 seconds? So we'll still hit him when he has that on. Even at 14. Okay. Okay, now our archer in the back will do her ultimate. She'll fire one time, try to apply witches. If she doesn't get it like that, then this guy will fire. Now she'll apply two, two shots. The archer will, and we'll have, hopefully have witches remains up. And backlash should be on. Where was our backlash at? There it is. Be cleansed by my light. By ancestors' names. Not bad for a prototype. Okay, we're still catching it, yeah. Too bad is it. it disappears closer toward the ultimate. I don't know, this still looks like thirty five million though, right? Forty million, probably forty million. It looks like. I do think that increased attack is kind of bringing our damage down a bit. I do want to use my my legendary rally on this boss, though. On my account, I want to use my re legendary rally heroes, and I'm hoping they'll do well. Although I do have a mon, right? I guess I'm not using a mon anywhere else. I would just use this kind of kind of this similar team. But why not bring another DPS in? Why do we need do we even need Meredith here? I mean, Meredith is resisting. But like you said, we could put in that chest piece on some DPSer, and they would never be hit with the stun. And they could be in that spot. I feel like Garius can heal it just fine. Who am I using to get 32 million? Well, we got 32 million before with the, with the aerial set. Basically, all we've done with it, it's the same team right here. Well, we got 34 million, right? But this is with Ariel. She's in Roots. He's in Staff. She's in Eyeball. Witch's Remains. And she's in the healing artifact that we got from Faye. The one that gives her additional resistance. But she doesn't need it. Like, she doesn't need additional healing. I just got it for the additional resistance. It doesn't matter what you do with Meredith. As long as you have the Staff or Garius, Meredith is just there to absorb that stun. And that being said, I was saying that if you bring in another person that's ranged and you put on that chest piece where they can't be stunned, if we don't need this little additional heal from Meredith, we could bring in some more DPS. Which is, is this lady right here? This is an or an or um, epic. And see how she fires right then? She only has one shot on her ultimate. 
And then she'll do additional shots with that ultimate when somebody else attacks, when an aura hero, hero attacks, right? So what you have to do is line her up. Like, you'll see her fire again in just a minute. She'll fire her ultimate, only fire one time, one time to apply Witch's Remains. Then Karith will use her ultimate, which will make our girl fire two more times, three times to apply Witch's Remains. And then she'll fire again two more times when Theohin does her ultimate. But we're hoping Witch's Remains is applied by then. Like right now, one shot, no Witch's Remains. Now she's going to fire twice with her arrow when that happens. So we got Witch's Remains up. And if we didn't have it up then, we would have two more shots then where she'd try to apply it again. Like every time an aura hero does their ultimate, she follows up with two attacks. As long as she's in blaze state, is it? Something like that. Probably change link codes for her. <laughs> Man, we're supposed to be testing link codes. We're going to link codes next. Right now, all we did is change aerial set to emperor set to see the difference. That's all we did. Now we're going to go to link codes next and we're going to find a way to make link codes do more damage. But right now, the only thing we changed was the first test we did was just to see what kind of damage uh, Theo Hin was doing compared to um, Karath. But we can do an individual, same same exact gear on Theo Hin, Karath, and even this girl in the back, the archer. I don't remember her name. To see who does top damage. Since I believe there was a change done to Theo Hin. Now, before, when the when Season 3 first came out, we know Theo Hin was the top dog damage dealer for an epic, actually doing amazing damage, kind of like Total Nan or something, you know? Like, doing really good damage for an epic. And then, they said during an update that they just changed the wording on some of, the, some of these hero skills. But then I remember Ivy Lee always saying that, that it caused her to do a lot less damage, that it wasn't just a text change, the Theo hit now does less damage, but I don't know if that's true. We do got to keep in consideration this is the test server, and they haven't updated the test server. Like, they never update the test server. So I wonder if Theo Hin's doing more damage here than on live, if that's the case. I'm wondering if there's a change in Theo Hin, you know? I don't know. Okay, so we went from... This is a big difference in damage. Look, we went from... Uh, with the Emperor set, of course, we know this, but we went from 34 million to 49 million. Going from Ariel to the Emperor set. Nice. All right, 49 mil Emperor set. Okay, so now we know what we can do with some epics. Now let's throw in this legendary Linkos and see what he can do. This is Aura with Imp set. Saved. All right, redeploy. We're going to take her out. Remember, we're trying to hit 49 million again because we can last the, the whole entire time. We're trying to get over 49 million because we're bringing in a legendary. Let the performance begin. Let the performance begin. Now we're going to take the gear that we had on her. Transfer it over to him. We are going to take the eyeball we had on her, just for now. I didn't see a break. Did I do a breakdown screenshot of the damage? I think I didn't. Damn it, I didn't. I only did it like this. I didn't get to actually see her damage, but we'll look at total overall damage for now. Okay, but regardless, we're taking out an epic, we're putting in a legendary. He's supposed to do some crazy cool stuff. If you read over his skills, you would think we would get more than 49 million damage, is what the thing is. You would think we would. So now we're looking at a guy who can give 15 aura energy, then strikes the enemy three times, consumes five aura energy to do percentage base of attack, up to 100% of hero's attack, which is actually pretty weak. But he's got high attack now with the gear we've got on him. 400% attack, radiant to all enemies. But he's giving 35 aura energy to aura allies, but only if we're not in blaze state. Remember, once we're in blaze state and our hands are sparkling, we can no longer get aura gain. We only then deplete our aura energy, which really sucks. That's why it's not... This, this stuff is... 
if in play state summons this thing. So we got to pay attention to this little summons that follows the aura ally with the highest attack, which will be Theohin. When the ally followed by this, whatever this is, launches a basic attack, consumes 15 or energy, if he has 15 or energy, and then enables this thing to fire off and do a hit that's 7% of the target's max HP. I want to know what this hit is. I want to see this hit and know exactly what this hit is. So really, you know, you, this guy sucks. You can just read his skills and know, know he sucks. Okay, so for his ultimate energy, this is what he's doing. 400% of attack. AoE to the whole entire board. That's great. We've got, we've got people that can do whole entire board attacks at 720% of attack. Even though he's going to fire this off every once in a while, I guarantee the total overall damage to a single target is probably less than 720%. Like this attack's not going to be that great. He's not going to have aura energy, every basic attack to be able to keep this up. And I bet you that overall isn't great. This is a big AoE. This is the whole entire board. So we're looking at AoE damage, right? We're looking at like Goblin's AoE damage, but I bet if I brought him into Goblin, he would do terrible damage because... 300% is fine, actually. 300% is fine. That's what a lot of people do 300% on there. All right. Let's see if he enhances our damage. And I want to see, like, if I can see that little thing bouncing around behind Theo Hearn and see it actually attack, that'd be cool. But he doesn't put it out until he's in Blaze State, right? which will be now. He's using his aura energy. He's at 95 of 100. He just used it on the battle skill. And now he's about to do that little thing that follows. There it is. It's right above her. There. I see it attack. I see it attack. There it went. 69,000. Right at 70,000. 69,900 and something. 70,000 hit. It's consuming his aura energy. He's at 25 right now. Can he gain? He can't. Can he gain some back though right now? Because he's not in blaze. No, he's still in blaze state. Okay. Now he's down to five blaze. So he'll go out of blaze state. Okay. That's weird. He applied it right back to her. Yeah, but he's got no. He, he applied it back on that ultimate. He only had five blades, right? You can't do anything with five blades except your battle skill. He did his ultimate, which since he was in blaze state, he cast that thing on Theohin, but then that thing had no blaze for him to use, so it immediately went away. And instead, if he would have cast his ultimate without being in blaze state, he would have gotten 35 blaze, like aura to get into blaze state. Aura in blaze state is, is, is really, really not cool. And it's really dumb how he just functioned right there. Look at his damage. Look at his damage. 19%. It's, it's almost as much as our girl back here doing... Um, we're going to get less damage. We are going to get less damage than having Karath in here. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. He's in Emperor set. He's got crazy high attack. So if he is doing any damage based off of enemy max HP, it should be at the max potential. Not crazy damage, but the max potential that he can do. If it's 7% of this guy's max HP based off of 200% of his attack, it should be at whatever we can do. Right? The highest we can do, right? Oh, we're at one time speed. Sorry. <laughs> but overall damage, I guarantee it's going to be less than 49 million. Watch. 49 million exactly is what we got before. Now, yeah, or it just doesn't work well. You're right. But how can you not, not do something to make it better? How can you come out with legendaries? And, and we're not just talking one legendary. We're talking about two legendaries. Damn. What is this? 
It's a horror based second season. Has just dropped. Yeah, is it based on the movie with the gopple doppelgangers? Have you guys ever watched this series called Them? It's on second season. I never even heard of the first season. And it's from Prime, Amazon Prime. Interesting. Got a big cast too. I'll have to check that out. But if something doesn't work properly, you go and try to like tweak it a little bit, right? Especially when we're talking about legendaries. We're not talking about rares. We're not even talking about throwaway epics. We're talking about a whole school of damage that you just introduced called Aura. And it sucks. The, like the two legendaries, Diantha and this guy suck. Wow, what is up with this, man? How can we be doing so much less damage? Okay, what this leads me to believe is that we are doing 10 million, like he's doing 10 million less than Karath did. <laughs> What's going on here? 49 million flat. We're looking at not even 30 million yet and we've got a minute left once we reach 30 million i'm just a little upset because all i pulled was or heroes right i pulled Linkos, i pulled diantha i pulled the exclusive amon and then of course i got all the epics right so i had no luck with any kind of cool exclusive getting um azul or getting lucky and getting rook like that's just like Rook isn't even. You got Rook. You you you're you're top, you know top 100 in Vortex. That's just it. You don't need Rook's exclusive. You don't need uh, any other kind of luck than that. That's it. And it's probably gonna be that way for a while, even next season, seasons after that. They're either gonna have to nerf him a little bit, or every hero that comes out, no, nobody's gonna compare to Rook. Nobody. Now, why did we get hit so hard with that? Oh, he's just powering up. Oh, we don't have our skill timing set up. That was That's why we're probably doing a lot less damage, I guess. We put in a new hero. We didn't set up our skill timing. All right. I think this is on me. I believe this one's on me. 40 million. This is on me, or he, again, he did 10 million less than... And Epic did. Now, I don't believe he did 10 million less. I do believe that we weren't getting our, um, our D, which is remains up properly. It's full. Everything's full. Oh, we only have 15 slots. I see. I don't have a full 30. Okay, so skill timing, we're at 19.5. 20. We were doing her at 14. I think she's at 12 when she first, yeah, 12, 20. We're doing him at 12.5 and then, tw whoa. And he has, oh, that's right. Another thing about this guy is he's on a 23 second for his ultimate. Why? Is he strong or something? Is this guy like amazingly good or something? Does he, why is he a legendary once you have him scrolled with a 23 second ultimate? Stupid, man. This guy is trash. Like, seriously, trash. Yeah, yeah, of course. The rare does more damage. Yeah, everybody does more damage than he does. <laughs> Rex, what's going on, buddy? It's going good. We're testing out some aura, and they're just pissing me off because they're so terrible. Like, the legendaries are so bad. It's making me mad because that's like what I have, you know? We're 
We'll put, we'll put him like he is. I mean, what can we do? He's just garbage. I'm thinking that, that honestly, we're going to do far less damage because he is trash. Now, Karath does enable our team to do a little bit more damage, right? She gives us that ultimate increase from time to time. Although he's supposed to be giving us some some aura energy, right? He, he's supposed to be giving everybody aura energy when he does his ultimate. And then he's supposed to be doing that little thing that follows, so. You're struggling on Venom? What day are you on? What season and day are you on? Man, I can't wait till one day if we're all in the same season, all in the same day. Like that that will save so many issues for this game. If we could just all be on the same season, same day. We have a little bit of struggle to go through dungeons, but really it's all about the leaderboards that they have applied to the dungeons. Maybe one day they'll have like amazing leaderboards to them. And then we all have the same banner. We all have the same Dungeons and Dragons event happen at the same time. We're all going after the same chief challenges at the same time. This game would be so like such a better place. Do you have Sonarl? Yeah, yeah, Sonarl makes it very easy. Or if you just have Gardris, Garius with the staff, staff makes it pretty easy too. You just got to keep him. You got to keep whoever is your tank alive for the first twenty seconds. But once you get going after that, you're good. Farming goblin issue. I can't make my Ice Blast Vortex team work on Venom. Season 3, Day 8. But you're on Day 8, though. Yeah, yeah, you're on Day 8. I don't, you know, Venom. Soon you're going to have rank 90s. You're going to be able to make level 95 heroes. You're going to be able to farm. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Day 8's a little low to be struggling. You just, you just got to wait days. Reset team issue. Yeah, you just got to wait days. Even if you're struggling right now, you just wait a few days. Pretty soon you'll be able to make higher ranked heroes, higher ranked artifacts. Maybe you can only take your artifacts to 12 right now or whatever it is. And then you'll be able to equip your left side, right side room, which you don't have right now. So it's just wait. It's the waiting game, honestly, in the beginning. It's not a struggle. It's a struggle if you got nothing to do and you want to push. But obviously it's easy for you right now, day eight, to do your commissions, to do whatever arena you want to do, to do your vortex boss, and I don't think there's much else open, and to bounce out of the game. That's it. You just bounce out of the game and wait till the next day so you can get your adventure rank up higher by doing your commissions, and then bouncing out again and just waiting. It's really, that's all it is. That's it. There's no reason to struggle, no reason to push yourself. All you got to do is wait. Unfortunately, that's all you do. Yeah, you're not farming Venom right now anyways, either. Yeah, you're not really, really farming it. Have that red gear makes me feel left behind. Other people have red gear? I don't even worry about what other people have. I play this game like a solo game. If you're worried about what other people have, they've got legendaries, like insane amount of legendaries, insane amount of gear. Maybe they have Mithrasy, which really helps you out there. Maybe they have Sonaro. You know, they're going to have things that you don't have. Like to play this game as as looking at other people and what they currently have, like uh, not even worth playing it that way. And the only way you see other people's gear is if you go looking for it too. Like if you go looking at your Vortex team and their Vortex team, then you see gear. You have to actively go out there and check it out. Yeah, you just got to focus on what you can do. Exactly. Just focus on what you can do and what you're capable of and just just wait. <laughs> I mean, truly. The, the craziest thing is, if you don't spend your stamina that they give you, like don't spend your bread that you have in reserve, you just wait days. And then when you're, when you're to the point to where you can get stronger because they've loosened the cap on things, then you can spend that bread and jump right back to where they're at. That's the funniest thing about this game. Like you can struggle to try to keep up with somebody day by day, or you can save up all your bread, wait eight days until your adventure rank is far enough, and then use that bread 
to get your people up to level 95, use that bread to then go farm the right side, left side runes, all that kind of stuff, and then jump up from wherever you were at in Venom to Venom 8 or 9, and then farm the same gear that they're farming. And all you did was just wait eight days, and nothing happened during that eight days. Nothing happened. Just like eight days of Vortex, that's it. Like nothing else happened. And then you're right with them the same thing. That's why That's why the, the first 30 days are so boring. You just sit there and wait. The, the struggle is kind of like uh, on yourself, you know? You don't, you don't need to struggle. <laughs> There's no struggle. You just wait. <laughs> so how much damage are we doing now? Okay, we're doing a little bit more because we had it set up a little bit better. But still, this guy is costing the whole team to lose out on... on now, not as much. Only, um, what was it? Like 5 million? But still, take take that into you. You put in a legendary over an epic, and it's losing you five million. Like what? Did I say epic over a legendary? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Putting in a legendary over an epic or over a rare and you lose out on 5 million. Like, what sense does this make? <laughs> Come on, game. And there's no way to increase his, his like... Okay. We gave him high attack, which he has really high attack to help out with this for max max damage, right? Obviously, he's an AoE damage dealer, but you can't say that. You can't say somebody who sucks so hard with damage that they're an AoE damage dealer. This guy can hit the whole board with this ability for 400%. That is not an AoE damage dealer. That is a weak, weak-ass AoE damage dealer. This guy has a cross-section attack on his battle skill, which normally would you would think would be pretty strong. But he's doing 300% of attack, and then sometimes he'll consume and do 2%, 100% of the hero's attack here on this, right? But he does do it three times. I'm assuming so that's 6% of target's max HP. 100 max each. And that's it. This thing that follows somebody around. See, this one does it. A coordinated attack on that enemy and any enemies around it, like immediately around it. That's it. So is he just like a... How do we test an AoE nuker? We go to the target dummy with five... Okay, 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 okay. Check this out. If he's such an AoE nuker, is he going to do more AoE damage than this girl? She has a cross-section attack. She has a three-by-three. Three. It's not the whole entire board like his ultimate. Will he put that little floaty thing on himself? Care for a song? I know He's got 5,700 and 100% critical damage. 64, 100. 5, 7, 6, 4, 100. Five four eighty three. He's she's got a lot more crit rate, a lot more crit rate than he does, and he she's got this too. We'd have to put them both in the same gear and then test them against AOE targets. Yeah, he's not good in Goblin. He's not going to be good in Goblin. I'm telling you, this guy is like absolute trash. If they don't buff him or change the way he works, I don't trust nothing this company does, man. This makes me mad. Dude, it makes me so mad. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so to do this, though, we got to get them both at 100% chance to crit so we can see the actual damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Radiance. We'll do her first. We'll change her artifact so that they can both use the same artifact to get crit rate. And this will give them crit rate. They won't get additional damage, but that doesn't matter. All we want is 100% chance to crit with the same gear on. So we'll just use the same exact gear on her, same exact gear on him. And no leader skill against five targets, okay? 
Where is she going to attack these five targets, though? Sometimes it's weird. Let's see how she does her ultimate and how she does her battle skill. Battle skill only hits two, which is stupid because it's a three by three, so she's not smart with that. Ultimate hits everybody. Okay, so he is going to have an advantage because she has dumb targeting on her battle skill. Because it only hits two instead of three. But I bet you she still outperforms him. We got three minutes on the clock. Is that enough to really go through? Let's let's do five minutes. Let's give them some really time to to get into their skills. And see what they can do. Not bad for a prototype. They're definitely not doing adequate playtesting, right? They bring out Rook, who's doing billions of damage, and then they nerf Rook and he's still doing like insane amount of damage. And then we have all these auras, and then we had all those electrocute heroes. Too bad it's about to be scrapped. They want duds to dilute the pool. I just think they just don't know. Like I, I don't know who's doing the playtesting. Obviously, not bad for a prototype. I, I have no clue who's doing the playtesting, but they're not. Like first, you want to playtest Vortex, and then you want to playtest everywhere else. Like it's easy just to do it on the target dummy on their own test server. Their own test server, they go in and test Vortex. They have a spreadsheet with gear. They have a test server that's set to the side so the gear never changes. They try out Vortex with multiple teams. They have a spreadsheet of all the teams they've already used like we've done. And then they try out a new team. And then they're like, whoa, this guy isn't working properly. But do you think they have people that know their, their characters that well? I mean, if we're talking about like a corporate machine they don't have somebody that's a play tester like me or you and that's just their job to analyze and play test some companies do are they they outsource it right and then those people fill out reports all the time about the gameplay and gameplay issues and bugs and all that kind of stuff but i doubt they have a full-time person with the same five guys <laughs> what guys Rook on the dummy. Rook Rook does fine on the dummy as long as you get a whole bunch of corrosion up. He still does fine on the dummy too. Not bad for a prototype. Too bad it's about to be scrapped. Yeah, Morph, what's going on? What uh what aura team are you enjoying? Maybe we should have done three minutes. Here's three minutes. She's at six point seven, right? And she got off the ultimate at the end. Six seven point one? Let's see if he gets the ultimate off at the end. Seven point one. Where's old Linky? Let the performance begin. Dumbass kelp mermaid. I've made some ballads for ancient times. Okay, same exact gear. He's at 100% chance to crit as well. And let's knock this down to three minutes and see if he gets 7.1 million. Or just somewhere around 7 million. See if he gets that last shot in. At the very last second, she got one ultimate. Actually, he's not going to because his ultimate is 23 seconds. It's not 20 seconds. Okay, so we saw his ultimate obviously hits everybody just like hers hit everybody. I mean, his does hit the whole entire board, but they're both hitting five targets. His battle skill is doing what? Is his battle skill dumb too? No, his battle skill is actually a cross section. So his battle skill is hitting everyone too. Okay, here's the funniest thing. If he does not reach 7 million in three minutes, he's got a clear advantage over her. She's hitting two people with her battle skill and then hitting all five with her ultimate. He's hitting all five with his battle skill and all five with his ultimate. And he still gets his little thing out. So if he is not doing 7 million... Then what the hell is happening? Listen, the song of the same exact gear, 100% chance to crit. It'll do the same damage every single run for three minutes. We could run this again. It would be the same exact damage.
It's because CC. Yeah, yeah, that is the only reason they know about Rook. Exactly. That's the only reason why they actually got in and, and nerfed him right before Season 3 released. Like, barely in time. Uh, Ardrith, Garius, Amon, uh, Diantha, and Jorn. Nice. I'm running Ardrith, Garius, Sonaro, Amon, and Diantha. Yep. And I get I got sixty million on my team because I got Sonaro. Sonaro makes this last a lot longer than than your team probably. No, it got, this you're talking about this guy for this coordinated attack. This guy doesn't have a coordinated attack. He just puts that little thing that follows somebody, and it's supposed to do AOE damage too. This is supposed to. Uh, it, well, it does damage and then damage to somebody around them. Look at this. Look at this. How? This guy is bringing out a pet that hits two targets. His battle skill is hitting five targets. His ultimate's hitting five targets. He's got the same exact gear on. And he's getting a million less. And with so many advantages, getting a million less. So you know on a single target, this is going to be far less. Like, single target damage or even three target damage, she's going to really blow him away. Because he's not going to be able to take advantage of so many multiple targets like this. Like, I just don't, I don't understand why I have this guy. <laughs> it's just so bad. Defense increased too, right? Right. Amazing with my team. Nice. Yeah, well, Sonaro's Sonaro does decrease attack the whole entire time, 100 percent uptime. Obviously, not everybody's got Sonaro. You're doing a great job with Jorn for sure. But if you had Sonaro, definitely replace Jorn with Sonaro, because he is. This guy is just way overpowered. I love him. I use Sonaro everywhere for sure. They make one bad legendary for each type, but honestly, Diantha's not great either. Only reason why we play Diantha is to make the other aura people do more inner, do more damage. Now, here's a good thing. Here's a good question, right? We used we used Kath Kareth. We used Kareth over here, if that's her name, to get forty nine million, right? Forty nine million even with Kareth. Now, if we take Kareth out and we put in Diantha, which she gives us a little bit more or energy to get to our blaze state faster each time. Are we going to pick up some more damage, a little bit more damage from this legendary? Now, I use her, of course, because Amon's doing all my damage, right? It makes sense because I've got an exclusive that does 90% of my damage. So, of course, enabling that exclusive that does a huge portion of your damage to do more damage makes sense. It doesn't even matter how sucky she is. It still makes sense. Let's put her in the gear we had uh, Kareth in, right? Uh, that one goes on. Oh, this one goes on her. Yeah, yeah. That goes back on her. Back on her. Now. There she is. Wait, I put the wrong thing on her, didn't I? I put, um, yeah, I did. Now, this is a problem because I don't remember what ones we used here, but I think it was one with crit rate. I think we only had one additional. Yeah, it's this one. And then it would be one or this. Probably the 11. 
Okay, she is actually correct. Now we just need Roots over here, and we're back to the same team we had. But in place of Karath, now we have Diantha, right? Attack percentage, attack percentage, attack, attack. Eyeball. Attack percentage, attack, attack. Roots. She hasn't changed at all. Twelve, right? And this would be twelve point five. This is fourteen. We could actually be on a nineteen point five cycle with all of them if we wanted to, but we'll keep it the same. Okay. Defense lead. Let's go. Filto, who is able to carry a rally team. Uh, Filto, as long as you have Lorenthal and even Hubbard, he can do really well. And Alton in there. I have Alton, Hubbard, and Lorenthal. And they play okay together. But I'd love to have a big nuker like Filto, for sure. Like, really. Would love to. And then I take out Alton. And I, then I have Hubbard do Witch's Remains because he does so many hits on that AoE. And I have Filto do my main damage. And then Lorenthal to empower everyone. Make sure we have Rally up. And get that 40% increased damage attack, uh, damage buff. All that. But unfortunately, I don't have him yet. One day. Most teams rely on exclusives to deal decent damage. Oh, yeah. But do they? Do most teams rely on exclusives to do... I guess to do top damage, yes. We know that, right? You either have Rook or you have another exclusive, and that's it for Vortex. That's it. I mean, Vortex is you have Rook or you have an exclusive, other exclusives, and you play Vortex. If you don't have those, then you play Ice Blast with Girth, or maybe you play Wild with Total Nan and Erich, but really you should probably be using Girth along with Nord and um, Ledin. Depending on the support. It all depends on support then. And that's the biggest thing, the support to keep your people alive long enough to do damage. So if you don't have an exclusive and you don't have Rook, then you use whatever you have the best support with to get the most damage. If you have to use Shaltar, Total Nan, or Girth, right? I think those are the highest damage dealing epics for the Vortex. I can't think of anybody else, right? Besides Shaltar, Total Nan, and Girth. I think that's it. Now, I don't know if we could bring Theohern in the equation of those Not bad for a prototype. those three. I don't think so. I don't think Theohen can do anywhere near the damage that those three can do, but they are single target damage dealers where Theohen is an AoE damage dealer. She still does good single target damage, but she's actually more of an AoE damage dealer, Theohen. But she's doing great damage always. Okay, it was 49 million, right? 49 million? I think we're going to get just about... I think we're going to get the same damage 49 million again, honestly. We've got enough time to get 44 million currently. Because we're at the halfway mark. So... <laughs> this is what pisses me off, man. Look. Epic, 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 epic. We bring in two legendaries from Aura that are not exclusive, and they are trash. And it's not like these epics are good. It's not like we're saying, oh, these epics are amazing. This is crazy damage. That's not the case. These epics are just normal epics. Theohin could be, say, you could say Theohin is a, is a very exceptional epic, right? But these other epics are just normal epics. And, and they're out doing legendary heroes. The only two legendary heroes we have for Aura outside of the exclusive. 
I hope the game makes it to a season five. It will. It will. Yeah, it'll make it to a season five. I just hope they start doing balancing. That's all we want. We don't want any miracle. We just want to, you know, all games balance. They have to. And it, and it makes it so people want to go out and try their heroes again. Different heroes and play different teams and stuff. They all do it because it makes sense to do it. And you don't want ever you don't want anybody to ever have like a forever buyer's remorse. I spent five hundred dollars and I got an aura exclusive. Like say they got my luck. They spent five hundred dollars, they got my luck, and they got the Amon along with Diantha and then Linkos. You don't want them to leave the game and feel terrible because somebody one of their other buddies who didn't spend any money got lucky and got a rook. Not to say we need to nerf Rook or not make nerf or not make Rook not the top of the top. That's fine that he's the top of the top and his friend got lucky and got a Rook. That's fine. That's going to happen. But you can't have these other ones be garbage. You just can't have that happen. It does make you unhappy about spending money in the game. It makes me unhappy about spending money on the game. I spent $200 at the beginning of the season. To get all those deals, right? And I, again, I don't want these. I don't want these two legendaries to be crazy. I don't want them to outperform, you know, everybody in in shadow and and anything else. I'm not asking for these legendaries to outperform crazy higher, you know, damage dealers. But I am asking them to do better than the epic and the rare counterparts in their damage class. I am. And overall, we already know Aura does less damage than other damage types. Aura does less damage than Shadow. It does less damage than Corrosion. We've already done that testing. Okay, so Diantha did increase our damage by a whopping million. Over Karath. <laughs> oh man uh, this is uh, Empress set right so we have this one and now we have this one Okay, there is... Oh, you can't see it, huh? So what is that? 1.8 million more? Same gear. No change in gear at all. Same setup. Everything's the same. So she did increase the damage. She did, in fact, increase the damage by uh, 1.8 million. I'm very upset about the two legendaries. I'm very upset with her and I'm very upset with uh, Linkos. I just don't understand it. I don't, and you know, and when you tell the, like, like if I bring these findings to the company and, and show them in detail what's going on, and then they say, maybe these guys can do AOE damage. Then we show them that AOE damage from shadow and corrosion, like we could take them in and test them against any AOE and, and it's not true. And we already saw the AOE damage Linkos does. Linko's AOE damage. What was that AOE damage? It was 5 million, right? What, what was Linko's? Do you guys remember what we just had on the test dummy? It was 7 million for... For Theohan. And then we took this guy in and we had 5 point... Maybe it was like 5.7, 5.8 million for AOE damage and he's hitting the whole entire board which is nuts. So let's let's uh who's another AOE damage dealer that we could bring in just to see what kind of damage they do. Just a normal like here we go. There's Rava. Let's see what kind of damage. Now did Linkos had a leader skill? No, he didn't. Good. She does. We'll have to change her leader skill. No 
lots of folk could do with clearing their heads in life. I'm happy to oblige. I think he's well over capped, right? Yeah. One, 100, that's about the critical damage they had. HP lead, three minutes. Let's see what she does. With the new coat of paint, man, it really is. Aura is rally with a new coat of paint. Yeah, is is terrible. But the thing is that at least aura epics are better than rally epics and rares. They really are. I don't know what they did with rally epics and rares. They just basically made it to where, hey, these guys are decent if you can get rally on them, and then they made them like no way for them to get rally on them. Like such a low percentage chance. And and that's it. You don't you don't like epics and rares, you barely have any kind of rally enablers there. It's sad, right? And there's some good heroes in there. Like, I really like Higio. I like the damage he does. I like the way he jumps in and does AoE damage to a group of targets. He won't just do it on the outside part like some melee will do. He'll jump in and make sure he gets the most, can hit the most targets. That's why his damage is actually better because he does that. But to get him to have rally often enough... And he's the best, he's like the best one, right? For him to have rally often enough, for Welby to have rally often enough with epics and rares, it's not really happening, you know? Yeah, but he's got to have rally though. Welby's great. If you can get rally often enough, and then you've got that one epic every six basic attacks to give rally to somebody, and then it's, it's not rally, you know, Welby gives rally to anybody on the team. There, there's a couple rally heroes that are rare in epics that give rally to just a random ally. So it can go to your healer. It can go to your other support. Well, he's only good because everybody else is so bad. Right? So true. That is the true thing, too. Like, you always say, like, this rally guy is good or that rally person's good. Well, because all the rest suck, man. That, that is, they do suck. But well, we can put out some good damage, right? Getting a 50% ultimate increase is great to be able to th do your ultimate over and over. It is. But how do you enable him when you've got nobody to really give that to him? But that's all season five, right? Season five, all new rally heroes, all new aura heroes to play with these aura people. Okay, so she did do a little bit less damage than him because she's got a single target. Well, he did five point, he did five point something million. So Rava was kind of on par with that legendary. Oh man, crazy. All right, guys, what are we going to do tomorrow? Anybody got any ideas? To nail the is fine. Well, we only got a 50% chance, right? To proc that. If Alton was always like helping out Welby, it'd be a crazy combo. It'd be like a ridiculously broken combo. Still a great combo, but... Alton... Only has the 50% chance to give it to him. Which is good enough if he's going pretty often. 50% chance to gain 30%. If they have rally, those without rally has a 50% chance to gain it. Yeah, so if you get some lucky streaks with with uh, Welby, it could be pretty pretty, pretty fun. What are we going to do tomorrow? I need some stuff to test out tomorrow. We've still got three days to go till we're opening our purple dice. So we're going to do a big summons and open a purple dice on my stream, and we're going to do a giveaway. I've got 10 gift codes to give away for one gold dice, one scholar scroll, and 250 worm arrows, so we'll do that the same time we open up dice. 100% when his ultimate does? He gets 100% chance when his ultimate is up? Because that's what I play. I play Alton, Alton, Hubberg, and Lorenthal, because those are the legendaries I have on my main account. I don't have Filto yet. Once I have him, I'll be set. And I think that's all we have, right? <laughs> I've got one, two, three. Except for the exclusive, that's all I'm missing. So all I need is Filto. So once we have a Filto banner, we'll try to go after him. Yeah. 
Yeah, if there's anything you guys want to test tomorrow, let me know. I do enjoy testing, although that testing made me angry just because that's just kind of the heroes I pulled for the season and I spent my money and got for the season instead of getting like a Rook or a Azul to have some fun with in the Vortex Boss or Arena and everywhere else. So we'll see how they perform. I mean, where are we looking for Aura to perform well at the end of the, the, the in-game boss? Okay, we'll look, we'll look and see how Aura performs on the final boss. And then we'll be able to know the whole entire season. Yeah, I'm going to head out, bud. I've been on for two hours and 36 minutes. My wife should be coming home soon. She's got a half day, and then my kids are here, and I want to see what we're going to do about lunch. But have a good day. I will be back tomorrow or the next day for sure. I still got to do a few more streams before the, end of the, before the month ends. I got the two Thunderbolt. Yeah, I bet that felt like trash. I got her too. And they're, they're garbage, right? All season and all this season, I have yet to use a Thunderbolt hero. Because they're garbage. The epics are actually the worst. They do not apply what we need to have applied. The rare's garbage. This guy is like the best one to apply it. And he's not even... He's melee, right? All about enlightenment. So melee gets up in there. He's actually probably the coolest one. Still don't use him. Obviously, I got her. Never use her because she's trash. They need to expand. They've got to. Next season, they need to expand. We're going to see more Thunderbolt next season, and we're going to see more Dauntless. We're going to see more Shadow along with Summons. We're going to see Wild with Burns, and we're going to see Frost with Ice Blast, Poison with Corrosion. There is no way we're going to get a whole new damage type. It's impossible. Impossible. The game won't last. It's impossible. They got to build on what they have, and then it'll start being, I think it'll be more enjoyable, right? A lot more fun then. It will be. It'll be a lot more fun. All right, guys, if you're not playing Dragon Air Silent Gods, download it with a link down below, especially if you heard us talking about it. It's amazing. Don't believe anything you heard us say just five minutes ago. Download it from Steam if you haven't played on your PC with that. And then download it on your mobile device. We got Season 3, and then we've got this new event coming up in three days. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow or the next day, and then we will open up some dice, and I'll do those giveaway on the 30th when we open the dice. But guys, have a good one. And think of some things to test for tomorrow or the next day. When I come on, I want to come over here to the test server because I get bored playing my normal account. Like, what are we doing? So I want to come over here and test some stuff. So let's do some more testing for sure. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a